So multiply polynomials with the distributive property is very similar to multiplying with the box method. So I'm going to start by referencing my last, my last video. Um, if you haven't watched that, you might want to go back and watch it. But if I'm going to multiply using the box method, I'll put the factors on the side of the box. And first I'll multiply x times 2x. And that give me 2x squared. So in other words, I'd multiply there. And then I'd multiply x times negative 1 to give me negative x. Or in other words, I'd multiply there. Then I'd go 7 times 2x. And then I'd go 7 times negative 1. So hopefully you can see the connection between using the box method and just taking uh, that same idea and applying it to the distributive property. I'm taking each term in my first parentheses and I'm distributing it into the second parentheses. So x times 2x is 2x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. 7 times 2x is 14x. And 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. Those like terms will combine to give me 13x. And now let's look at a trinomial times a binomial. And once again, I'm going to start by using my box so that we can see the connection between the two strategies for multiplying. So if I set my box up this way because it's a trinomial times a binomial, so I've got a 2 by 3 box, um, I'd multiply first x squared times x and get x cubed. Then I'm multi I could go, I could multiply this box next, or I could do this one next. x squared times negative 6 is negative 6x squared. Then I could go here. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 6 is negative 12x. Then I go to my last term, the negative 3. And once I distributed it into both, I'd have negative 3x and plus 18. Okay? So I know that I've drawn a lot of lines here, but basically look what I've done. I've taken the x squared and I've distributed it into everything in the other parentheses. Then I took my 2x and distributed it into everything in the other parentheses. And then I took my negative 3 and distributed it into everything in the other parentheses. From there, we're just combining like terms. x cubed minus 4x squared minus 15x plus 18 after I combine the like terms that are diagonal of each other. So just remember, this is just like the distributive property that you've seen a million times before, except now we have multiple terms separated by a, a plus sign or a minus sign, and, and each of those terms have to be distributed into the other parentheses.